my mother's coming for Christmas. Everything's gonna be fine. She's the most critical human being on the planet. I can't fix that. I'm not Beyonce. Scott and John are incredibly insightful, very attentive, and I know this because I know both of their wives very well. They're both married to incredible women, and uh, it seems from the outside like they're both very good husbands. Part of what it seems like makes a good husband is being very good at watching and listening. Where's your tree? I guess she's been a little busy. No, clearly not at the gym. Well, as writers, I think that because they watch and listen, their amazing wives and their own families, and they both have young kids, I think that they get to soak up so much valuable information about what makes women tick and how women really feel and what women really want. And I think that comes through in the work. Christmas is supposed to be fun. Break the ball. Say Christmas back. No more perfect gifts, no more perfect decorations, no more perfect anything. Let's put the ass back in Christmas. That didn't come out exactly as I planned it, but you guys get what yeah, I mean. We know what you had. <laughs> It's always a little bit of chemistry anytime you're casting and putting a group together like that. I think we lucked out with magic between the three of them. They're all moms of little kids. They're all young moms themselves. And they loved each other. And I think that came through on screen, how really supportive they are and how genuine that friendship is. Every time I think I'm the weird one in this group, you open your mouth. We went to prom together. Oh, Lord. And then I'm like, I'm doing great. <laughs>